So for those of you that haven't heard, Go X Black Powder is going out of business. But don't panic. There's a cheap, effective way around this. You can make your own black powder. I'm gonna give you a quick crash course on how to do that. Get you one of these cheap Harbor Freight rock tumblers. Fill up the jar halfway with lead musket balls and cut up pieces of lead wheel weight. 75% potassium nitrate. 15% softwood charcoal. 10% high quality sulfur. Pour them in. Run it on the ball mill for at least eight hours. Take your black powder that just come out of the mill, put it in a jar. Add a little bit of water. Just enough to where it doesn't make any dust when you move it around. Don't get it too wet. Put your powder in a pucking die. Put the cap on the die and press her on down. When you see the water coming out the bottom, you know you're pressing it enough. After your pucks have dried for at least 24 hours, and they sound like that, now it's time to break them into pieces. You could do this a variety of ways. You could use your hand, you could use a hammer, screwdriver, whatever you feel like. Get you one of these screen deals on Amazon. It helps to have a paint filter too to get the dust out of there. Dip them on through. Switch to a finer screen. And you keep doing that to get a uniform size. Get your paint filter, pour it in there, swirl it around a little bit, get that dust off there. That's 2F. That's 3F. Now it's time to go shooting. So that's all there is to making real honest to goodness black powder that will work in any black powder firearm, muzzle loader, cap and ball, pistol, anything. That's all there is to it. It's not too hard. If you're brave enough, you can do it yourself. Now, I have two other videos that I've made that go into a lot more detail on both processes that I use for this. This is the fastest, easiest way to get just as good, if not better, than any of the commercial brands. So, I'll put those in the description below. In the meantime, hope this helps. Keep your powder dry.